everyone, Heather Steves here, and today I want to share with you another page in my day trip journal using the new Remember Moments collection from Elizabeth Craft Designs. So I started with this tag die, which is from the set 2160 called Romance, and instead of cutting something out with it, I'm actually tracing uh, the back side of this die because I'm going to use it as a little mat, and I'm going to use the die to cut my photo. So after I traced it, I just fussy cut it out, and then I ended up cutting out another piece with the actual die so that I could place it there and make sure it was going to look good with my photo. So I don't have my photos yet. Um, so this is why I am doing this um, so that I know that it's going to work once I do get my photos. So I just took a couple of little spots there and I just trimmed them up just so that it matched a little bit better um, with the actual die itself. So once I was happy with that, I grabbed my dark brown ink and I just inked up all of the edges of that mat. And then I grabbed my crocodile and I just punched through so that I would have the hole would match underneath. Um, I'm just confirming my placement there and then I'm going to go ahead and attach that mat down onto my base page, um, which by the way, all my base pages in this journal are cut with the Remember um, die set. And then I grabbed these words, which are also from the romance die set, and I cut them out just with some off-white cardstock. So these words, as well as one of the other ones in the set, also come with um, a base layer for them, but I decided that I didn't want to use it for this layout. I just wanted to use the actual words how they were. So I'm just putting some glue on a par part of the word um, because I don't want to stick it down over top of that mat because then I won't be able to put my photo on it. So I'm just being very careful and making sure that I'm only attaching down to the base page and not over top of that mat. And then once I get this little dot there for the eye, I'm just going to test that and make sure and if the actual die fits under there very nicely. So now I'm going to move on to the other page and I'm going to do the exact same thing. So this time, rather than using the whole die, I'm just going to use a portion of it. So it's going to kind of look like it's hanging off of the edge of the page. And so again, I just taped it down to the cardstock. I traced it and then I just fussy cut it out. I'm just testing out the placement there and I like that uh, so I go ahead and ink the edges um, but then I realized that I wanted to trim that up just to make sure it matched nicely so I just grabbed that uh, die cut that I had done previously and I just used that to um, put another little cut in there and then I'm happy with the uh, the way that that mat looks now. So next I wanted to add some texture to the background paper so I ended up grabbing out stamp CS364 textures and I just grabbed this little triangle um, image off of there and I'm inking it up with two colors so like the dark brown and then there's a bit of this dark red and I just like the way that these colors mix together I use them on a previous uh, page as well and they just kind of blend better um, with the colors that are in the paper when I mix them like that. So what I found though was this little triangle I wanted to use more, but because it was attached to the bigger one, it made it a little bit harder. So you saw I used some paper and I was able to stamp with it, but I just thought it's gonna be way easier if I just take it apart. So I just used my scissors and cut it apart and then trimmed it up so it was nicely rounded. And then I'm just continuing to stamp onto um, that page. And then I thought, well, I should stamp on the other page before I put the mat down. So this time I went ahead and I just started doing my stamping. Some of my stamping is um, second generation. So I stamp it in the original color and then I stamp it again without re-inking it. And it just adds um, even more dimension to your stamped images that way so that you get that um, different toned image on your page. So as I'm going around uh, doing the stamping, I thought I better grab my mat and just check and make sure that I have uh, coverage the way I want. I have a couple more die cuts I'm gonna add. So I just finished that up with this little um, triangle with some three generation of stamps there and I'm happy with all of the stamping. So I went ahead and attached my mat down. So this happy word is also from the romance die set. So I grabbed that and I grabbed this camera, which is from the remember set uh, number 2159 and I just cut them out and now I'm just going to assemble this camera I'm inking it up with my um, dark brown ink and this time I'm using an actual um, brush because it's a lot easier with the fine details of that um, it's definitely harder to uh, 
distress them with the ink when they're so tiny. Um, and I'm just grabbing my tweezers and some liquid adhesive and I'm just gonna attach this together. Um, so this camera you can kind of put together lots of different ways because there's lots of different pieces to it. Um, but this is probably the simplest version. Um, there are um, embossed lines on the base um, die when it cuts out so that you can see where to put all of these little pieces. It just makes it so much easier when you're assembling. And now that my little camera is assembled, I can attach it down uh, to my base page as well as this uh, happy word. So this one I can attach fully down because it's not overlapping my photos. So my photos finally arrived. So I went ahead and I grabbed out that same tag die and I started to cut out my photos. So it is a great way to add uh, more interest to your pages um, by adding a fun shaped photo. So I do enjoy cutting out my photos with dies. Um, it just really does add some interest, especially when you have a fun tag like this. So now I can go ahead and attach the photos down to their mats. And you may have noticed uh, when I cut out this photo on the right page that I left it a little bit longer than the mat that I had cut and that was on purpose so that I could make sure I had enough overlap so that I could trim it to match exactly. So next I grabbed out my crocodile and I added a grommet into the top of that tag. Um, I just checked a couple of different colors to see which one I liked best. So I had purposely not put adhesive on the top of that tag so that I could do this uh, once I had my photo. And then I grabbed out just some simple white twine and I just looped that through um, the grommet uh, just to finish it off. Then I also remembered that I needed to attach the rest of these letters down. So I added my liquid adhesive on there and just attached them right down onto the top of my photo. And then my last little finishing detail was just to add some adhesive at the top of that tag so that it would stay in place. And my page is done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and have yourself a wonderful day.